Okay, boys, we're going to measure the center to center roll distance on uh, the sign plate. I've got it clamped up to a, uh, a granite block. I've got it sitting down on a parallel. <clears throat> and all I'm going to do is get in here. Um, I've kind of got the camera tilted so you can see what I'm doing. It's kind of tricky to get in here. I'm just getting on top of this roll right here. And we're going to call that a good zero. And get in here and check the roll. We can check it in a couple places. Good zero. And get in here a little deeper. And again with a good zero. Okay, so we know our plate sitting parallel to the granite. Uh, on the parallel, we trust that, and the roll's parallel with the granite. And now what I'm going to bring in, and this took some trial and error. This is just a gauge block stack that I made um, just so we can uh, get a baseline. So there I'm at zero. Okay, on that gauge block stack. And then we take it over comparatively and check here. Now this is supposed to be five inches center to center distance. So all I'm going to do is take this gauge block stack and I'm going to take a 3 and a 2, those are already, you see they're already rung together, uh, which equals 5. I'm going to clean the bottom, put it down on the plate, and then I'm going to clean the top. And I'm going to add, let me get those rung together without all this tipping over. So basically whatever my stack was, I just added 5 inches to it. So now I'm going to come to the top and get on this and then whatever our distance between here and the top roll is, is, is going to tell the tale whether we're 5 inches or 5 inches and a half a thou or see what, our, see what the error is. So let's get up and get zeroed up on this guy here. Hoping that's not too close to the camera for you. camera that GoPro is really in my way right now you guys got a way better view of it than I do Okay, pretty happy there. That's at zero. I'm going to slide my gauge stack out of here carefully. <clears throat> and now we're going to go in and measure that top roll. And I haven't touched the plate. I'm not wiggling it around on the table or anything. I just I didn't want anything affecting my measurement here. So we're going to see how close to half or uh, five inches these things are. Okay, so we're uh, about a half thou proud long, so that's uh, five tenths long on that on the roll to roll distance. And as long as your roll to roll distance is known, same thing there, five tenths. Same thing there, five tenths. So we're getting pretty consistent readings all the way across. Same thing there, five tenths. Uh, let's go back to our gauge block stack, quantify that measurement. Bring our gauges back over here. And back to zero. So <clears throat> now we're pretty confident. We know uh, our gauge or our, our gauging rolls on the uh, on the sign plate 
are uh, five tenths long. So we can either do one of two things. We can either try to correct it or we can record it on the sign plate. Um, if it's recorded on the sign plate, when you do your math for your gauge block stacks, you can always uh, add that extra five tenths in there or half a thou. Uh, add that in there and uh, that way you've got an accurate um, gauge block stack and you've got an accurate angle if you're getting down to where you're splitting uh, splitting thousands. Uh, let's do some math on the board and see how a half a thousandth in sign roll really affects the angle. Let's see, the, see what the angles are achieved. We'll calculate it with the error and without the error. This might be interesting. Okay, we got a little math here on the board. And first off, we're just going to take the, the sign plate at face value. They say it's a 5-inch plate. We're just going to make our calculations for 5-inch. That's 5-inch uh, on the nut times the sine of 45 degrees equals your gauge block stack here, which is 3.5355, and that equals 45 degrees. Now, corrected, we, <clears throat> we've already established that our sine rolls are a half a thousandth long, so we take uh, uh, that value, our, our long 5 inch, by the same uh, sine of 45. This is our new gauge block stack. And you see the difference in our gauge block stack is only, uh, what, three-tenths uh, difference, but that's going to equal us out to 45 degrees. Now, as an example, if we just took it at face value and we take this dimension, which is what we'd end up with with a calculator, and put it in with the true distance between the sine rolls, we end up with 44.996 uh, degrees, which is our short gauge block stack set up with our long sine rolls. If we take this value with this value, this is the angle we end up with, which is a decimal error of 0 0.004 degrees, um, which is a 15 to 16 second error. Uh, so it's not a heck of a lot, but if you're doing the kind of work where you need to be right on the money and get it as close as you possibly can, it's uh, valuable to know the distance between your rolls um, on your sign bar and just record it on the sign bar somewhere with a sticker or a felt pen or stamp it in or something so you can always make your calculation based on what your sign bar is. Alright, that's the end of today's math lesson. I uh, hope you uh, enjoyed that little segment.